and welcome to this episode of Awesome or Nah Some. And today we're going to be discussing, discussing the Ulta Ombre Lip Balms. Uh, they were available at my Ulta in the clearance section. I don't know if these are still available or not. I purchased three of them for $5.99. So, here they are. This shade is called Dahlia. And, can you see there? Each one is two different colors. That's Dahlia. This one is Rose. That's what that one looks like. And then this one is called oh Carnation. And it looks like this. So let me swatch them for you. Let's start with Carnation because it's already here. So if I swatch it like that, you can actually see the ombre effect. Let's just swatch it normal. There's the color that you have. So let's show you in the light, set in the light. There you go. So that was Carnation. This next one is called, this is the Dahlia I'm going to be swatching for you. There's the Ombre Way. Here is the normal swatch, and here they are in the sun. And this last one I'm going to swatch for you is the rose color. And so I'm running out of room. Down there is the ombre way. Here is the normal color right there. And then here they are in the sun. Okay, so first let's talk about the name. Okay, so these are called ombre lip balms. So when you purchase them, you think this is really cool. This will give me a really quick ombre look to my lips. You know, I just pop it on, instant ombre. Um, no, it will not do that for you. It will not. Um, now, if you can swatch it to make it look ombre. But what happens is when you put it on your lips, it's such a small, if it were closer to actual lip size, then maybe it would work. But because it's such a small little balm, the two colors will mix and make another color on your lips. And you can kind of lean it one way or the other to control how much of the color you mix, if I'm making sense. But you will get... Um, these other colors so they are very very pigmented they will feather though not real bad um, they are hydrating the one shade the Dahlia shade you get kind of a coral and look like a hot coral lip that's this one here the carnation one you end up with this kind of purplish, pinkish looking lip. And then with Rose, you end up with this very nice, pretty rose color. Yes, once again, they will never be ombre. They will not be ombre. The product should really be called like, instead of ombre lip balms, it should be called dual ended lip balm or dual lip balm or like I don't know half and half lip balm I don't know something else that makes it more obvious because I was really disappointed when I purchased this and came home and tried it and realized it was not gonna give me an ombre lip ever 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 um, but I was surprised by how intense the color payoff is again and how well it actually does stay on it is extremely long lasting. Um, it, it doesn't give you lip liner lips when it wears down. It's very hydrating. They are very hydrating. And they do feather, but not bad. You do not really need a lip liner with them. 
I mean, it would obviously help, but you don't 100% need the lip liner. They will feather, but not, not tons. You know, it's just mild feathering. You'd have to be really, really close to notice the feathering. I would do lip swatches for you, but I already have my lips done and I'm leaving soon, so sorry about that. But for these products, for the Ulta Ombre, Ombre Lip Balms, I'm going to say that they are awesome. I think they're awesome. I was pleasantly surprised. At first I was mildly disappointed and then I was pleasantly surprised by how phenomenal these products are. I don't, I hope they're not being discontinued, but I think they are, that's because they were in the clearance section. So, if you can run to your local Ulta and check and see if they're in the clearance section, you should totally get them. They are worth it. They're just a great product to have on days where you want to look like you're trying really hard with your lip color, but you don't want to feel like you're trying really hard and you don't want to have to work hard on it at the color. These are perfect for that. They are phenomenal. My favorite color would be Dahlia because I really like coral lips. And then next up would be Rose. And then my least favorite color is Carnation, but it's... I love them all three almost equally, so it's not really my least favorite. But yes. Oh, sorry, some kids are walking by. But yes, these are great products, and you definitely, definitely need them in your life. So I hope this review was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And this is Megan Hilt out.